I'm Shanko Hatsu and I'm the innovation lead for Nike Basketball. And today we're going to talk about Nike Hyperfuse. China is really important for us in Nike Basketball because it's their number one sport. And for basketball, it's the world's second largest market. We went over there to you know, see with our own eyes some of the things we heard. We saw a lot of kids playing hoops in running shoes because they're really breathable and lightweight. But we saw a lot of kids also playing in hiking boots because they're so strong. So we thought, how cool would it be if we can combine the benefits of both of these? Basketball is huge in China. There's 300 million kids playing hoops there. That's like the entire population of the United States. So we realized that um, because these kids are playing on such rough surfaces, stitching on basketball shoes is one of the first things to fail. And so we knew we wanted to start with a mesh as a base for our material because it's so lightweight and breathable. But we needed to figure out a way to add structure without adding stitching. Um, combining materials together to make a mesh shoe stronger for basketball. Um, but quickly we realized that we need to really think about the zones in which you need strength versus breathability. And so mesh is a great material, but it's just not strong enough for basketball play. So we need a way to really protect the mesh in certain zones. And that's when we started to cover the mesh with a special skin material. And when we did that, we realized we created a really strong composite material. And we ended up with this prototype, which was inspired by the kids that were you know, hooping in China, but also the style that they were into. Um, and ultimately, um, the final design leads us to a place where it's super breathable and super strong. We're in a sample room in the innovation kitchen, and normally you aren't supposed to be in here. But I want to show you how the hyperfuse process actually works. Hyperfuse is a pretty simple concept. Traditionally, shoes are a patchwork of small pieces that are sewn together. But with hyperfuse, we've engineered special materials that are bonded together through heat and pressure. When the three layers are all properly placed, we put it into a special heat press. And we use a lot of heat and a lot of pressure. And what you get is a unibody composite that takes the three layers and turns it into one single continuous piece. It took us about two years to figure out the right balance of heat and pressure to actually make this process possible. The shoe is a one-piece construction where the upper is welded closed and then attached to the midsole unit. That's two years of work. So we spent a lot of energy capturing what we did so we can pass on what we learned to other designers in the kitchen that work on other sports. Hi, I'm Ben Schaefer, the innovation lead of sportswear. I have the great opportunity to work in the kitchen. Uh, the innovation kitchen here at Nike is a place that uh, we can actually incubate some of the great ideas that, uh, that will be helping athletes be better, stronger, faster uh, in, uh, in the generations and years to come. Some of the great things that have come out of the kitchen are things like free, um, uh, fly wire, and, uh, and really, it's, it's a great place where people from all sorts of different backgrounds, uh, from materials experts to designers to you know, biomechanists, are here to, to make the better products for tomorrow. One of the great things about working in the kitchen is that we collaborate a lot on projects. And when there's a new technology like Hyperfuse, we really try to, to see what areas outside of just basketball or a certain sport that uh, we can actually incorporate some of those benefits. Uh, taking some of the same sort of technology uh, and starting to play with it into uh, the, the dunk form. Uh, there was a little happy surprise that kind of occurred in this particular product. Because these, these thin layers, these thin skins, um, only can allow a certain amount of pigmentation that's inside of, uh, of the skin, um, ultimately when you have a really contrasting color behind it, sometimes you get a really unique effect like in this shoe where you're starting to see a little bit of X-rain uh, of, uh, of the color. So, uh, so when we saw that, it was like, wow, this is, this is really interesting to kind of amp up the idea that not only uh, can the X-rain come at a textural level, but also at a color level as well. Uh, so uh, that really sort of got me trying to experiment um, with, uh, with these skins and look at the translucency that you can get out of those skins. So, you know, I went through and played with tons of different swatches, but it's just amazing to see how they ultimately intersect and start looking quite beautiful. And this is where we keep our materials from the sample room. It offers us an opportunity to come down and as a designer, it's a great place for me to come and uh, play and really get creative. Uh, we started to really look at the same sort of effect of 
of playing with those colors um, and, uh, and ultimately coinciding and seeing what the overlays would end up giving. So it ended up really offering us some unique visuals. But on the, uh, the technical side of things, there's a nice honesty about being able to see now seams, uh, zigzag stitches in areas, and even how things overlap a little bit differently. Uh, there's a lot of times that we tuck different pattern pieces underneath shoes. So now you had to design from the inside out and really think about what all the different layers were going to do at the, at the end of your product. Uh, and, uh, and that intersecting of layers um, became something that's actually quite beautiful.